I'm going to start at the top left of these buttons and work my way down to the bottom right. So let's go ahead and do this. All right, reset is on every CNC machine. It's used for while you're running your program. If you want to stop it, you can either hit stop or you can hit reset. What reset will do is it'll reset the entire program. That way you can jog your machine, move it out of the way, do what you got to do, then come back and restart your program. And it's also used for if you have an alarm on your home screen and you want to get rid of it, you just hit reset. All right. AF insert, what AF insert is going to do is it's going to insert your wire. And so if you're over the position you want to be in, you hit AF insert, it shoots a stream of wire from the top head down to the bottom head and it will insert your wire. All right, fluid high, fluid low is going to turn your flushing on high and your flushing on low because if you got a thick work piece and it has a good setup and you want to get that gunk out of there, that sludge, then you want to turn your fluid on high because your work piece is not going to vibrate. But if you have a thin work piece and it's going to end up vibrating because your flushing is turned up, you want to turn it on fluid low. All right. So now right next to that is going to be fluid on and that just turns your fluid on. So if you got your tank full and you're ready to start machining, you can hit turn fluid on, but there should be an end code in your program that actually turns that on for you. AF cut, that just cuts the wire. So for some reason, if you got a slug in there or if you want to just cut it, you just hit AF cut and it will cut it for you. All right, rapid fill. What rapid fill is going to do is it's going to fill your tank. So if you have your door down, you should have sensors on your machine that knows that the door is down. But if you do not, depending on what machine you do have, be careful with that. It will go into the floor. All right. In some cases, you have to hit rapid fill two or three times to get your entire tank filled because of the different sensor levels. So just be aware of that. What wire feed is going to do is if you have your wire inserted into the bottom head, it will actually feed your wire. So it'll just keep the spool, of, keep turning. All right. Key lock, what key lock is going to do is it's going to lock all these buttons so that nobody can mess with them. So if you're leaving for the day and you got a night shift and you don't want anybody to touch them, just turn on key lock. Adaptive control, what adaptive control will do is while you're running your machine, if adaptive control is on, it will adapt to the different situations of your workpiece. So if it steps up 100 thou every inch, then it will go ahead and speed up and slow down according to how thick your workpiece is. All right. Drain, what drain is going to do is it's going to drain the water from your tank. All right. Machining, what machining is going to do is if you turn that button on, it's basically letting the wire EDM know that you're ready to start machining. And which, there, like I said, there should be an M code for all these. So in your program, which I'm going to show you in a spree and surf cam, they should automatically input the M codes for turning these on and off at the appropriate times. Manual mode and auto mode. Manual mode is going to be for jogging your machine around, trying to pick up zero and setting up and so on and so forth. Auto mode is for when you're running a program. Auto return will return your X, Y, Z back to the location from where, let's say, your wire broke and or if you got a slug in the way, you want to move your head. You can move your head, turn on auto return, and then whenever you go back to position, reinsert your wire, it will go back to where it was cutting. That way there's no waste of time. Option stop, what option stop is going to do for you if you have a specific M code in the area of your program, it can either ignore option stop if it's turned off or it will actually stop so you can get the slug out. You get the slug out, you can hit start and it will actually keep going, part it off. And depending on how many M codes you have, option stop, as long as it's turned on, it will stop. If it's turned off, it will not stop. All right? So start, start and stop, you'll use those a lot. It's pretty self-explanatory. Other than that, let's go ahead and continue with the home screen.